The damning report into the actions of the emergency services following the Manchester Arena terror attack makes a lot of the front pages this morning, as you would expect. Failed at every stage, family's anger at Arena bomb response is the front page of The Guardian. And pictured there is my next guest, Fijin Murray. Now, Fijin is the mother of Martin Het, and Martin was one of the 22 people killed that terrible day. Her campaign, Martin's Law, calls for tougher security checks at public venues, and that's exactly the plea of the Manchester Evening News. Look at that front page there. They say, never again, with the B that's become the symbol um, of, of everything that happened. Well, Fijin joins me now. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. What a terrible time you've had. It's been absolutely awful for, since, your, since your son died. But I would imagine the past couple of weeks have been very tough. Well, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to the report, but when we got there, the thousand pages awaited us and uh, I knew there's going to be lots and lots of recommendations, which exactly is what happened. Well, we've seen an absolute catalogue of, of failures um, and you would like to think somehow yes. that lessons will be learned from this. Do you think that's going to happen? Um, I'm confident that a lot of things have already been initiated by all of the services, uh, thanks to uh, um, Andy Burnham, the mayor of Manchester, Greater Manchester, having initiated the Kerslake re report shortly after the attack. But obviously more work needs to be done as the report highlighted, uh, the volume two report. Um, but I think um, what I really liked is that Sir John has indicated that he will be um, following a lot of the recommendations up to make sure they are enacted. So that's good. And that's something that you are obviously want to campaign for. I mean, your life changed dramatically, didn't it? You were a counsellor. Um, you then stopped doing that, stopped counselling people and did a degree in counter-terrorism. And then you're campaigning for your boy's law, for Martin's law. Tell me what you want. Tell me what, ideally, what you would like to see. Yeah. So what I'd like to see is, uh, at the moment, the situation is that there is no legislation to keep people safe at public venues, large or small. And I want that to change. I think it's really difficult um, uh, to not have the security legislation now because terrorism has changed. It's not like the old days where people would ring and say, I'm going to attack this, that and the other. People get radicalised in their bedrooms and then go and use simple methods like cars, vehicles, uh, kitchen knives, machetes, anything. And they attack people, the general public. Um, so we need to, as a general public, be better prepared um, and to keep ourselves safe. And, and uh, bringing in the legislation would mean that small venues and large venues would, um, would actually know what to do in a terrorist attack. They would have the training. The staff would be trained in the 45-minute free, um, free of charge act e-learning training. They would know... Uh, what to do because they would have a counter-terrorism action plan, They'd ha they would have done a risk assessment inside and outside their building. All these are um, components of Martin's Law. And also, of course, what really is important is if, a, if an attack can't be avoided, um, you know, sometimes, because if a terrorist is determined, they'll, they'll attack, come what may, but obviously they'll go to places that are less safe. But if, if you are caught up in an attack, it's really important that you know how to deal with the consequences. I personally have done life-saving uh, bleed control training. I carry with me a tourniquet at all times wherever I go um, and um, uh, I'm just uh, taking no chances these days. So um, that may be over the top but actually it's, I'm just applying common sense really. I think um, Sir John has indicated that he wants the general public to be better equipped to know what to do, um, you know, and, and he wants trauma kits made readily available, widely available for the general public as well. And he's urging the general public to train in that. Mm. Um, and he wants it to be brought, the training to be brought to schools as well. So all these are components of Martin's Law. Um, so I'm hoping that um, once the legislation is in, the general public are better equipped to deal with things. And of course, the emergency services um, are better equipped to deal with things. Indeed, because we have seen the catastrophic failure 
actually, you know, of, of, of everything, of the whole, the whole yeah. system just didn't work. What an amazing thing. I mean, you would think, because all you've said is total common sense, and you would actually have assumed that that would be in place already. But what an amazing legacy for your son, who was an incredible boy. He was such a fan of Coronation Street. He was such a, he was just so full of life. And I love the fact that the show actually paid tribute to him, his favourite soap, Cory. Have a look at this. It's a lovely bench, isn't it? It is. It's just a crying shame at even us to be here. Try five years on Sunday. Mm, I know. Could have been any one of us, couldn't it? Any one of us from this street. Our kids. Grandkids. They went out for a concert. And they never came back. I remember that episode so vividly. He would have loved that. I mean, he was such a huge fan. And he's actually part of Coronation Street now. That's on the set all of the time, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he was a massive super fan um, of the programme and he knew a lot of the people who are in the uh, soap personally. They, a lot of them came to his vigil and his funeral. But, you know, those two ladies make a very good point. I've, I've just met, had a cold shiver down my spine because what they are saying, obviously acting, is actually what happened in true life. People did go to a concert. Martin yes. was at a concert and never came home. And yes, it could have been anybody. It could have been uh, you, me. It could be your children, your grandchildren in the future, you know. And it, I just want that to be uh, avoided if I can possibly do that, which is why the legislation is so needed. It absolutely is. We wish you all the very best with your campaign. Um, it would be criminal if it isn't actually enacted because what you're asking for is absolute common sense. It, it, it really is. Thank you for joining us this morning. And again, um, so sorry for what happened. It's appalling. Thank you. What an amazing, amazing woman. And, and, and he was like, just a fantastic fella.